I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. You know, the children of Israel, when they came to the edge of the border of the land, they said, we're just like grasshoppers. And it says the souls of the people of Israel melted within them. Can you feel that? Your soul melting within you? What we need is a fresh vision of the Lord. I was down in Georgia on one occasion, and I was working with a prison there. And the brother who had taken me in to talk to some of these fellows, he said, now, I've got a Bible memorization program going in the chapel here at the prison, and so I'm going to just let you go in and talk to these fellows on your own. They took me to this section, clicked the door lock behind me, clicked the door open, went in, clicked the second door lock behind me, and here I was in the maximum security part. This great big guy walked up to me. I, I've never seen anybody so big. I mean, he was huge. He didn't have a neck, just sort of went from his ears to his shoulders. And he walked up to me, and quite frankly, he looked pretty intimidating. And then he smiled, and he put out his big hand to shake mine, and his middle finger went up to about here, up my arm. Now, that's not an exaggeration. He was just a massive guy. And he reached out, and he shook my hand, and he said, good to see you, brother. Boy, was I glad to hear that. He said, I'm going to stick around with you while we walk through here. Well, you know, it made me downright cocky. <laughs> hey, you. My friend and I want to talk to you here for a minute, you know. What does it mean when in the fearful experiences of life, we remember that the Lord is with us? I know the Lord. And we're on a first-name basis. I'm his type. I'm in his society. I'm welcome at his house 24 hours a day. Anytime I can just walk in. I belong there. I'm at home there. And I remember that he upholds all things by the word of his power. That he created everything and sustains everything. And here's my little light in his hand. I will not fear what man shall do unto me.